life, where there is light, there is dark. With good, there is evil. With angels, we have demons. Or do we? Fear and the unknown can drive you insane and make you fear this work. However, movies, TV, books, religion, stories, and fakery have given a certain portrayal of demons that is depicted in movies that so many believe. But is this true, or just movie magic? In the spirit world, could demons be someone who is simply a bad person in life? The only way to not have fear in anything is to try and understand what is unknown. Do we think demons exist? Possibly. But from our experience, we have not come across any. But maybe. However, we believe a lot of demons could simply be a spirit who was a bad person. The paranormal world is something you should not fear simply because of what you see on TV, in movies, books, religion, or simply what you've heard in stories, as that is not real. What we and so many others in ITC do is 100% real, and what we want to show people, the paranormal world is nothing to be afraid of. And this field has given us so much positivity rather than negativity. However, we do want to try and show everything we do from all angles. Watch with an open mind and enjoy this video. So over the series of clips which is showing uh, the depictions of demons and such that have been in movies over the years, such as The Conjuring, Insidious, and The Exorcist, and many more. But are these demons really as they're depicted in films, or are they something completely different, even if they are real in the spirit world? Which is what we're going to try and find out during the whole series of different sessions, not just one. So we're going to be um, doing all sorts of things with the PSP7, with the box, maybe a Ouija board or two, and see what kind of results that we get. As it's going to be pretty interesting to see if demons really are the way they're depicted in movies, or if they're something entirely different, which I believe that they are. And maybe they could just be bad people, some of them, or maybe some of them could be demons, we just simply don't know. But hopefully we'll be able to get some answers going forward as we do these sessions in this video. Okay, so this is night number one, the first session, and um, I've just got the box here, and I'm going to get the PSP7 going in just a sec to do the first session. And I've also got a um, little device that before I turn the lights out, it's just a laser pointer. And with this laser pointer, it's gonna project a grid on the wall behind me and over me and onto the box. So that way I am gonna test out, see if it's possible spirits can show themselves in, the, in a laser grid. I've done some research on these things and it's believed that spirits can sometimes manifest themselves at any any movement that you will see with this camera being still and with this being still on the tripod right behind the camera will definitely be hopefully an indication that spirit is present so hopefully we'll be able to see something in this so we're gonna do the first um attempt see if we can ask spirit about demons if they're real what are they and what exactly they want. So, it's the first session, so let's go for lights out. Oh. Hello. Are you guys okay? I was hoping you could help me out tonight. Do you like the box? Can you tell me how many spirits are with me tonight? I want to ask you guys a few questions tonight. Do you reckon you can help? Could you help me?
we can. Yes, we can talk. By my spirit guides, I know you're with me. I love each and every one of you very much. I know, I know, I definitely... Can you tell me if demons exist? Are they real? Yes. But when I say demons, um, are some demons actually demons or are demons just bad people? Are some of them just bad people? And do they say they're demons just to scare us? Do they call themselves demons just as a scare tactic? Have I ever interacted with a demon before? Has a demon personally spoken to me when I've been doing a session like this? down to 250 or scan at 250 I should say okay so now we're scanning at 250 are you still here are you there hey Do evil demons really exist? Are they real? God. Do you protect me against demons of um, my friends or family on the other side ever seen or interacted with the demon? What's it hurt? Do they hurt? Are we capable of protecting ourselves against demons? I'm scanning at 300. Has a demon ever tried to come through and speak to me or Diana? Can you tell me that? Has a demon ever tried to interact with us? Should people be afraid of demons? People that do this work, should they be afraid of them? Do we need to fear them? Or if we stay strong and we show no fear, does that help us? Thank you. 
Do we keep our trust in love and light to protect us and guide us? Stop. Do demons look like us or look like normal people or do they, are they animals? Can they manifest into animals or people? Okay, now it's the 22nd of August and um, well, going back through that session, absolutely incredible. Um, I didn't hear a lot of the um, results that I got in real time and I wish I had heard them, but hearing them back when I watched through the video, it was absolutely amazing. The response, some of the responses I got were just mind blowing for me. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. Can't believe I didn't hear some of them in real time. So I was really annoyed at myself. But um, I definitely felt like I got some answers and um, I'm hoping to get more as we do a few more sessions. I'm gonna do another one this morning. But before I switch the box on in the PSB7 again, I wanna go over specifically a few responses which we had, there was just one. I think that's what I said, that was just one and the name Ed coming through after asking if I have ever interacted with a demon before. And since Ed's name came back through, over the last um, few weeks or so, Ed's can been a little bit silent in the way of sessions, but he did pop up about two, three months ago in some sessions. Didn't pop up all the time, but then gradually it started to get a bit more regular. Now, after talking to um, a good friend of mine, Tony Glover from Paranormal Shockwave UK, and I'll throw up the um, YouTube channel and the Facebook group on um, the screen right now, if you want to take a look at that, I'd highly recommend it. And um, when I was talking to Tony and talking to Mel, um, they was doing a live stream on Facebook that they do, um, they do it a few times a month, these live streams, or once a week, I think. And I wanted to ask them about Ed because at the time I was having some issues like around the house, like with like noises, nothing major, nothing majorly bad, just weird things like knocking on the walls um, and that sort of thing, like voices around the house. So I wanted to ask um, Tony about that. And when I was going through all my experiences with Ed and all the sessions that we've done, and I said that I was having like a lot of nightmares. Me and Deanna were both having a lot of nightmares that we've been having constantly for the last two months. And he said that he, I think it was he, he and Mel were having the same kind of nightmares along with um, his daughter were having nightmares as well. So we thought that was kind of a really odd coincidence how we've had similar, really similar things happening to us, to them and me and Deanna. So whether it is the same spirit who knows? Who who can say? Because I don't know. So, like I was saying, unless you can 100% prove it, then it's not fact. So, I have no idea if it is the same Ed. Could be, but I don't know. But I just find it odd that after describing a lot of the similar experiences that we've had, and find out that other people have had the same ones, including my friend Colin in America, who has had similar experiences as well. So, yeah. Definitely quite weird and interesting, so I'm gonna probe a little bit further this morning and see if I can get any more interaction with Ed, possibly, or just ask some more general questions related to demons. So I'm gonna get started with this session, gonna make another coffee and see what we get for this session. Is he still in the house? Is Ed still with us? Is this the same, is this the same Ed that's communicated with Tony and Mel from Paranormal Shockwave? Is this the same Ed? Do you know Tony and Mel from Paranormal Shockwave? Or had a yes?
You said that I have, well that we have, interacted with the demon before. Is it just one? Is it just one demon that we've interacted with before? Or if it's more, can you tell me? Please? Do, de do demons really exist? Or are the majority of them just people that were um, bad people while they were alive? Who am I talking to now? Who am I speaking to? Can you tell me your name? Billy. Billy? Hi, Billy. You came through in a few sessions before. How are you, Billy? Billy, are you a, um, a guide of mine? Or are you a um, new spirit to the house? Do you know how to use this box? How to use this device? I'm sure the other spirits who are experienced with using this box can show you. It's like our telephone. Right, I'm gonna to change to 300, see if that makes a difference. Can you see me? Are you able to give me some quick messages on the session that I did a few nights ago? I would just like some more information and more input. Do I have any demons in my home? Are we protected? Is this house protected? Is that a demon or a bad person? Bad person? Do I need to do another session about demons? If devils really exist? Would I be able to ask you more questions soon? August. We are in August. Awesome. I can hear you. Oh. Have de do devils haunt people? Does everybody have demons? <laughs> Does everybody have demons? Okay, I'm going to have to cut this talk.